Hey, how you guys doing? Curdy Cool is back again. Oh, I'm still talking about my little true story here, yo. My series that will be coming up in the near future, yo. Right now, I'm talking about my true story. But all this crazy stuff that was going on for months, this adopted grandmother, this baby mother, I mean, they put me through the ringer, y'all. You guys not gonna believe this, y'all. Curdy cool, y'all. I almost thought that it was incest with the baby mother with this adopted father. Now, I am going to explain why I'm talking about this stuff, y'all. Check this out, y'all. Now, somebody, one of the ladies of kinfolks or relative had lost a baby and they had the baby cremated. So the plan was for them to go to, what's that Lake Tahoe? With way up high up in the mountains. It's no, I mean just way up high in the mountains. Now the original plan was to go into the mountains in the mountain top, big old river flowing up in the mountains. So the original plan was for that particular baby mother was to go and release the ashes from the cremation into the river. So now I'm right there, y'all. I'm right there with it all. I rode out with Patricia Robinson and Veronica Robinson. I look up, y'all, there come Marcus Robinson. Now he's pretending to be a pastor now, y'all, a fake pastor now. Everybody meet up in the mountaintop, y'all. They standing by this big old stream that flows through the mountains. Just streaming, flowing through the mountains, y'all. Found the stream and flowing through the mountain. The water looked so beautiful and so clear and so relaxed. Until it just relaxed. Curtis Cool's mind. All of a sudden, I look, I look over. And there comes the fake pastor. Now, now he is the one who is going to be doing all the praying and plan like he is a pastor now. So now they, they take the ashes. The fake pastor lays his hand and starts saying a prayer. We are releasing these ashes back to you. Like they say, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. But oh God, we releasing these ashes right now in the name of Jesus. So they released the ashes, yo. Know? But it was one thing that stood out to Curtis Cool that kind of blew my mind, y'all. Y'all check this out now. Charlie Robinson was, was standing in front of that big old maroon, what's that SUV? You know, the big maroon long SUV. What's that, the, the, the Cadillac Escalade? Black jade in the shade. He was standing there, yo. I'm pouring some things out to you guys that blew me away. He was standing there like jade in Escalade. With a big smile on his face. All of a sudden, Veronica Robinson came from where the stream of water was streaming. Patricia Robinson 
was standing by her side, Veronica Robinson just turned around slowly, gave Charlie a deep stare, and says, look in his eyes. I was standing over here to the right, and I was like, what's this all about? I kind of caught that. I caught that the baby mother to be was looking at Charlie with an intense stare in his eyes, in her eyes. Yeah, y'all you know what I mean? But I didn't say nothing. Patricia Robinson caught it. She saw what was going on. Y'all guess what happened, yo? Veronica Robinson just slowly turned around, yo. Went walking toward Charlie Robinson and walked up between her adopted father's legs, yo. And started kissing this man in his mouth. Veronica Robinson was kissing her adopted father right there in the opening, y'all. I am telling the honest God truth. That's why I'm blown away, you know, I'm looking like, wow, look at this. I look back at Patricia Robinson, you don't see what's going on? She's standing like, Oh, this stuff been going on. Um, she looked as if she wasn't really worried or concerned about it. That right there blew me away, yo. Veronica Robinson was kissing her adopted father. I'm talking about kissing, yo. So I, I didn't know what to think. I wanted to say something on the spot, but everybody was right there. You had the fake pastor, you had Patricia Robinson over here. I mean, you had a whole lot of other people. You got the, the mother over here who is releasing the ashes. Everybody saw it, y'all. I didn't want to look like I was insecure. So I did not say anything, y'all. I was like, is this a incest, relationship, or between family? Is this why Patricia Robinson was coming after me in the hospital and at the house, y'all? Oh, it blew me way curdy cool, huh? I tell my true story, y'all. All this stuff is gonna be in my movie. And another thing that tripped me out, y'all, back to the hospital the very first day in the hospital, they had that man of Rose Lee was in the hospital waiting for me, along with Trish Robinson, myself, and Veronica Robinson was lying right there in bed. Nurses was right there. Manda Rose was right there. Y'all not gonna believe this, y'all. I was sitting like right here, right across from Trisha Robinson. The nurse was talking to Veronica Robinson and Patricia about what was going on with the baby inside of the womb, yo. I mean, everything was, it appeared to be going very smooth. Then all of a sudden, there was an outburst from the left. From this man that rose Lee, yo. Oh, 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 I didn't like this, oh, oh. Oh, you got that baby daddy in here, ooh, ooh. I was like, what the Lord, what is going on here? So anyway, she finally calmed down and the nurse was looking like, what 
is going on with this family, yo? What is going on? This Veronica Robinson is not saying anything. It was almost like she was not in control over this Amanda Rose Lee. So now I'm just, I'm just trying to block her out, yo. Just trying to block all that crazy stuff out, yo. I'm, I'm just sitting there, you know, just minding my business. I was almost in tears because of the way that they was treating me. It's real cold because I was a father right there and waiting. Trisha Robinson was facing Veronica. Then all of a sudden, y'all, Trisha Robinson just swings around directly toward me with her legs extremely wide open, y'all. Just extremely wide open right in front of me, y'all. Just stay just like that. And you can see her big print, you can see the bush garden, you can see everything, y'all. I'm like, I froze, you know? Why, why this woman is sitting like this in front of me, y'all? No respect, just stayed like that, y'all. Right in front of me, y'all. I was like, Lord, what is this woman trying to do to me? What is she trying to do? So y'all guess what happened next? The adopted daughter, whatever her name was, or if she was a foster kid or whatever, she was 14 during that time 15 years ago, she was standing right there next to Patricia Robinson. Y'all guess what happened? She sits and saw what was going on. She was looking around like, oh, oh, I know. This woman is not sitting in front of Curtis Cool like this with her legs kept wide open she was looking like and all of a sudden the 13 year old looked at Patricia Robinson and shut your legs sitting over here in front of this grown man like this shut your legs Patricia Robinson acted like it was nothing oh come sit down come sit she wanted me to look at her. Now in the process of the baby mother who is about to give birth to a baby, Trisha Robinson decides to gap her legs wide open right in front of me to see her. Like she wanted all the attention. Y'all know what I mean? So this stuff got so out of control in his hospital room. Oh, this man, the road cut up. Oh, she having a baby? Is she having a baby? Ooh, she having a baby. Oh, she, ha oh, she having a baby. Ooh. They gonna have to do this. They gonna have to do that. Oh, she gonna have a baby. She don't have a baby. You got that baby daddy in here. Ooh. So everybody just, I was just, I, I was speechless, man. I was like, I can't believe that this Patricia Robinson do not have no control over this 14-year-old during this time, y'all. I couldn't believe it, y'all. I couldn't believe it. Lord knows I, I just couldn't believe it, what was happening, y'all. She was so out of control so out of whack until the nurse took it on her arm told Patricia Robinson look ma'am what are you going to do about this crazy 14 year old what, 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 what is her name what what is this girl's name because I will report her right now what is her name. I've been in this room all this time and this 14 year old is disrespecting this man over here. Disrespecting 
you disrespecting everybody in this room and you supposed to be her mother or whatever you call yourself here and you are not saying anything? The nurse said, ma'am, since you will not say anything, I'm gonna tell this 14 year old, during that time, that was 15 years ago. She said, I'm gonna tell this man of Rose Lee to leave this room right now and go sit in the waiting area. This, this, this man of Rose is out of control. So the nurse took control, put man of Rose out of the waiting room, y'all. She was out of control. So she goes to the waiting room. She just walking down the aisle, just cursing. Oh, where we gonna go home? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like him. Oh, that ain't your baby. That ain't your baby. That ain't your baby. That ain't your baby. Oh Lord, when they put her out the room, I just stood there, slowly closed the door. I said, Oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for getting this wacko out of here, Lord. What am I going to do? I'm up here from Texas, y'all, trying to be a father. These wackos everywhere, y'all. <laughs> These wackos. <laughs> hey, y'all, I thought I'd tell you guys another scene that was going on in the movie. This stuff would blow your mind. Curdy cool, keep on bringing it to you just the way it went down. Curdy, Curdy, Curdy cool, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, my true story. Oh yeah, when I put the movie together, it's gonna blow some people's socks off left, right, east, west. Yeah, it's gonna blow their socks off when I get done with this movie, baby. Oh, this Patricia Robinson scam is off the chain, baby! Yeah. I'm telling my honest to God true story, y'all. It really did not have to happen this way, but due to the fact of greedy people, you know what I mean, who was improperly brought up, had all kind of traumatized lifestyles, this is what happened to them. So anytime you are traumatized, you are messed up in the head, you are what you preach from what you teach for the way you were brought up. You brought up a certain way, mistreating people, with all that psychopath, all that, all the problems, and you never really got any help along the way but this is all that you preach and teach along the way. So this is all this woman preach. She should have got some help a long time ago. I'm talking about this Patricia Robinson. She should have got help a long time ago. But when my baby came into the world, this Patricia Robinson saw a golden opportunity, y'all. Yeah. So now Charlie is gone with the death so now the rebirth have come along with this new baby. So I steal his baby. Now the new, the new birth is a new is in a new baby, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all some things that was going on in the next episode. So y'all stay tuned. Make sure you come back to cut, cut, cut it. Cut it cold. I'm gonna keep on. Talking about the baby scamming, yeah. Because it wasn't right. Downright low down and dirty. And she won't even try to come clean and fix it. So it gets deeper and deeper. I keep on telling my true story. Y'all know to me. Shout out to all the beautiful people. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Cutty! Cutty! Uh-uh-uh! Pretty cool. Okay, bye.